This is my first PowerShell tutorial and this is as basic as it gets. We're just going to find PowerShell and PowerShell ISE in Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 and pin them to the taskbar. There are plenty of ways to do this but I'm just going to show you one. In Windows 7 click the start button, all programs and here we have accessories. Inside Accessories, we have Windows PowerShell. If your Windows 7 is a 32-bit operating system, you want to use the x86. Windows PowerShell x86 and Windows PowerShell ISE x86. If your Windows 7 is a 64-bit operating system, you want to use the Windows PowerShell and the Windows PowerShell ISE. Don't use the x86 if your Windows 7 is a 64-bit operating system. And if you don't have both choices, use the one Windows provides. My system is a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to go down here to Windows PowerShell, right-click, and pin to taskbar. Windows PowerShell ISE, right-click, and pin to taskbar. And right now, these two programs and icons are permanently on your taskbar. When the time comes to remove them, just right-click, unpin this program from taskbar, right-click, unpin this program from taskbar. In uh, Windows 8.1, things are a little bit different, but not much. And yes, there are plenty of ways to do this in Windows 8.1 also, but I'm going to just show you one. First, drag the mouse cursor to the top of the screen and all the way to the right. Here, your Windows menu is going to appear. What you want is to click on the search button. Do we have anything resembling the x86 in Windows 8.1? Yes. Let's write PowerShell x86 and you see we do have it but we have already covered that part. Now there is a little catch here that I want to prepare you for just in case you experience it. Let's write PowerShell ISE and you can see the icon here. Right click the icon and it says pin to taskbar. We are going to cover that in a moment. For now, just write PowerShell and we have the icon here for Windows PowerShell. Right click, pin to taskbar. Now, PowerShell ISE. The icon is here. Right click it and you see we have unpin from taskbar, meaning it should be pinned to the taskbar, but on the taskbar there is no PowerShell ISE. We don't need to go into the details, but sometimes you don't have the option to pin to taskbar, only unpin program from taskbar. Here's a little workaround. Just click and open PowerShell ISE and you see the program is on the taskbar. Right click the icon, pin this program to taskbar and it's here. Now you can just close the PowerShell ISE and you have both your icons and programs on the taskbar. When the time comes to remove them, just unpin this program from the taskbar, unpin this program from the taskbar. And that concludes our first tutorial in PowerShell.